<laughs> you want a true test of marriage? Get a tangent bike. <laughs> everybody from the open ocean welcome back to never never growing up I'm Kelsey and this is John <laughs> it's about 9 45 we had a nice sleep in and feeling very refreshed and ready to go for our day in Costa Maya today so we have just put on our gym stuff we're gonna head to the gym to get in a little run or something like that and then get some breakfast we don't dock until about 12 o'clock today, so we have plenty of time just to relax and do whatever we want to do on the ship before we head onto shore and begin our day's excursion. We have a really fun day planned today, so stay with us and check out what we get up to today. Oh, I can see land. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the island, You see the land. See the land. Yeah. What, a couple of hours away from Mexico, so? Yeah, a couple of hours from Costa which means we got a couple of hours to go get food. Get ready, but yeah, got a good workout. You feel pumped? Oh, oh. oh look at that muscles. <laughs> I ain't got no muscles. <laughs> so, what's breakfast today? What do you want to eat? I don't know. We're gonna have a little look around today. Walk around today? Yeah. All right. Probably doing the same thing. Yeah. It's very rare for me to have a English breakfast, but I'll see. Okay, so. <laughs> I know. I I had it before and I want it again. It looks good. It looks it's really good. a lot of food. Oh, we got tomatoes today. Yeah. There was so many yesterday, I think. Did I not? I Part two days ago. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm excited for this. I went for the Mexican special from the Eggs Benedict Nation. So it's English muffin, two poached eggs. Guacamole and salsa. Yummy. Yeah. I like yummy too. And what's good about this breakfast is that we have a, I have a good view, and we also have water for. <laughs> yeah, this is lovely too. I like this a lot. Mm hmm. I love it. Food is good so far. Yeah. Very fresh tasting. Eggs are a little over, but everything together is delicious. Regular three five three. I'm regular one seven five. It's the Kincaid auction. Beauty and the Beast. Just to let you know that you can make a reservation only on these works of art. You will not be collecting them right now. But if you do want this price point, pop those big cards up here really quickly. Estimated retail price. I think we're here. Wow, look at that. So we'll be boarding shortly. Boarding, coming on shore shortly, mm -hmm. and we're doing the Costa Maya Triple Play. So it begins with a scenic drive through the lush countryside, mm -hmm. then we do a tandem bike ride under the green jungle canopy. We take in the natural wonders of Costa Maya's wilderness, then we'll reach a small chinote or cenote or chinote. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll it's out. basically a, a water area, and we go swimming. Uh -huh. Then we go to a beach where we do a stand-up paddle boarding lesson and then relax in the sun, work on our tan, soak in the ocean or just enjoy the beauty of the beach. And then we sit down to a barbecue lunch with chicken fajitas, quesadillas and fruit. Lovely. That's going to be like fun. That. Yeah. And this kicks off at 12.45. Okay. And it's a four hour excursion. So we'll be nice. out most of the day. Sounds fun. I'm excited. Yeah. It's a beautiful day. So it seems the ship is still turning around. The water is crazy blue. And I think we're going to pull up right next to this pier. And then walk down it. 
Left the room, we are still docking at the moment, but we figured we'd start heading down and situate ourselves. Did you pick up the tickets, by the way? Fabulous, thank you. I got my Sabu here. <laughs> I, I didn't bring the GoPro, I did rock GoPro accessories. So <laughs> one second in case this thing falls off, it'd be like... Guess who was a Boy Scout in a former life? <laughs> there it is. Look, there's a pyramid over there. I don't know if that's modern or is this uh, ancient. So this is the pier that we gotta go through, but we have a pier here as well. Yeah. So we're gonna walk from this pier all the way that way, connect it and then go that way. I guess we're gonna meet our guides out there somewhere, yeah. right? Yeah, so there's a trolley system as well that goes up and down the pier. We have to go to the king, wait. <gasps> Do you see this? Oh, that's nice. Ooh. That's really cool. I yeah. like that. And look, we're right on time. Huh. Right on 12. We are here. There's a lot of people. Everyone's very excited. A lot of people. Like, everyone wants to get off now. Yeah. What's good is we don't have to wait for tender, so that means everyone can get out right away instead of queuing up. All they have to do is just open everything, right? We you were good? trained from joining the line and he said, <laughs> to the bar and a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We're all getting off anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, time to queue. You're gonna put such a foot in Mexico, right? No! no. Yay! We are in Mexico! The ship, this beautiful ship. So we are now in Costa Maya. This is the ship. Gorgeous day. It is a gorgeous day. Warm but a little breeze. Mm -hmm. mm. It's cute. <laughs> There's a little trolley that rides you down the pier. We're just gonna walk it. Ooh, there's a nice little lighthouse over there. I'm so excited. What are you most excited for today? Just the whole excursion. Yeah, anything specifically? Paddleboard. Yeah, neither of us have done that before, huh? Yeah. And uh, swimming under the cave, I think you said. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous about paddleboarding. I don't feel like I'm gonna be very good. <laughs> I think you'll be all right. We'll see. Look at the ship behind us though. Yeah. So amazing! Love it. <laughs> the ship is behind us, and we love to be on cruises. <laughs> and I just saw some dolphins. I guess it's like a water park or something over there. I just saw them jump up. So keep an eye over there. This is gorgeous, isn't it? I can't get over how blue this water is. I know I keep saying that, like a broken record. And I love when you come onto a new place on a cruise and they're playing music. You're like, oh, I've arrived. This reminds me of like Adventureland music in Disney. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at that mural down there. Is that Frida Kahlo? That's incredible. This is amazing. It's so beautiful. Hello. <laughs> okay, let's go find our station. Thank you. So everyone that's on a pre-booked excursion is lined up in their little line here under this like sheltered, covered area. So I guess we, a hut, yeah, I guess we all set off together, I assume. And this is what we're doing, the Costa Maya Triple Play.
rained, so rained. there's a lot of mosquitoes apparently. And you know I get bitten. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we'll have time to explore this area. Yeah, when we get back. Hopefully, okay. right? We don't leave until, well, we have to be on the ship by 6.30, so yeah. definitely. All right. This ritual is more than 800 years old and it was developed by the culture known as Totonacin or Totonaca. They were established in the Gulf of Mexico area, what we know now today as the state of Veracruz. Right now the flyers are climbing a height of 75 feet tall, that is 25 meters, and I would like to add that none of them is using any type of safety. This is very important information because these guys, besides very, very handsome and intrepid flyers, of course, they're also great craftsmen. They handcraft this replica of the original ritual. This small toy, you can take it home with you as a very special and unique souvenir for all your friends and family directly from Mexico. Directly from Costa Maya, Mahawal. That'd be cool if that was such a Oh, that's what they were doing. Uh, oh, is that it? With all the boards as well? Yeah. Uh, look at that. You ready for this? I'm stoked. Yeah. How are you? Welcome. What's your first place? Now we are going to the jungle. We are going to visit a ranch. Uh, this ranch used to be a horse ranch before, but we had a big hurricane in 2007, so destroyed the rancho and the owner sold the horses and now it's open only for this expedition for the trip to play. Okay? We are going to do two activities there and the first one will be riding the tandem bike. Are you ready? Look at this, we're gonna do a bicycle made for two. I'm vlogging now in case I die because John's leading the way. <laughs> you don't trust me. I just think this is gonna be really interesting. Wish us luck. She doesn't trust me. This <laughs> our truck. Just remember, precious cargo on your back. <laughs> I know, my backpack is not going to fall off. Shhh, so rude. <laughs> Chachoven is the closest Mayan ruin from here. It's about 40 miles from here. It's really far. <laughs> so today you are going to know, to know the real Mayan jungle. Okay, family, do you have any questions for now? No. 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 Remember about the break, we have to pedal backward at the same time. That's very important. <laughs> You want a true test of marriage? Get a tangent bike. <laughs> this is so scary. You scared? <laughs> this is really cool. A mile and a half. <laughs> How you doing? Good. That was and Now fun. that there was no more yelling in my ear. It's, uh, better. It's a bit better. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is something else. We're in the middle of... Oh wow, an iguana! Wow. This is gonna be awesome. 
It's gonna be cold on there. Watch your step, please. Okay. Remember, you have to go downstairs to sit on the platform. Down and with there. your right hand, you're going to hold on to the rope. I'll be on this area. Remember, we are going to get wet here about shoulder height. Okay? Cool. You have to use your helmet, please, for this activity. Because some part inside the cenote, the ceiling is low. So okay. to avoid any incidents, we are going to use the helmet, please. That's very important. Okay? Okay. Relax. Relax, okay? Relax. Oh, yeah. That was refreshing. That was really refreshing. It was so hard like to keep calm with the bats flying around. <laughs> that was awesome. Is this your first time here in Mexico? First ever, yeah. In Mexico? Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. We are at the south. As you can see, not too many people is living around here. Yeah. Because we are in Quintana Roo. Uh, we are at the Yucatan Peninsula, but this peninsula is divided in three states, Yucatan, Campeche, and Quintana Roo. And Quintana Roo is the youngest state in Mexico. Oh. Uh -huh. okay. Are you Why from we... here? No, I am from Tabasco State, like, like the Tabasco South. Yeah. <laughs> but Tabasco is located at the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, okay. <gasps> that one's huge. That's the same one. Okay. But uh, now I live here, live I here. work here. Work here. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Uh, on this company, one year. One year. Uh -huh. But I came to Mahawal four years ago. Oh, okay. uh -huh. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. It's gorgeous, Can isn't it? Just okay! Vamos! Pedal Let's okay. go! Three, two, one. Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Finally on it. <laughs> Having a good time? Yes. Good. This is amazing. So amazing. And scary. <laughs> oh, butterfly. What's that? There's butterflies everywhere. Oh, okay. oh, look at this. They're like in the middle of the jungle. In the middle of the jungle. So cool. I always feel like safe when you come on excursions with these guides like this like no matter what you do is okay. one in front of you one behind you you're looked after mate this is the we have nailed this tandem <laughs> All the bug spray. <laughs> so many mojitos. I'll say mojitos. <laughs> Till I'm on a cruise. So many mosquitoes in the jungle. All right, time for some lunch. Chicken fajitas, quesadillas, fruit, chips. Ooh. I'll take an iced tea, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Leaving the ranch. How was your lunch? It's really good. It's delicious. Okay, now it's time to say goodbye to the mosquitoes. Goodbye, mosquitoes. <laughs> Mahafual. Yeah. And you remember.
after me, Mahawal. Mahawal. Yeah. <laughs> we made it to the beach. It's beautiful. This way, please. Okay, this is the area. So this is special for us. We have some launchers, the tables, chairs. <laughs> Look at Woo! this. This is beautiful. <laughs> Look at that, lovely. Water is so still. Nice and warm, Rhea. Yeah? Very good. Yes! Hi, baby. How you doing? Ready to go up? Um, yep, exactly. And then put your feet right where the center between the two things as well for balance, yeah? Okay, so now just uh, start paddling same way you did when you were on your knees. Yes. What's good is the water here is so shallow. It's so nice. You can just come and swim after. Well done! <laughs> Hi! Hi! You having a good time? <laughs> this is fun! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Balance is key. As is not going into this tree. Okay, time to turn around. <laughs> Hello, lady. Hello, sir. Oh, well. Perfecto. So fun. Glad you're having a good time, mate. Hi, baby. Come here. <laughs> oh. oh, it's your turn. <laughs> oh. 
Get to the bar. That dog's useless. <laughs> <laughs> Had John take my place with volleyball, I needed a break. That is hard work. <laughs> and on top of that, he is a much better volleyball player than I am. The team will probably be very grateful. <laughs> so I've just grabbed myself a little sole beer and I've come out back into the water. It is so warm and so clear and just so beautiful. But I wanted to just film a little something to say that this has been one of those like pinch me days and one of these pinch me moments this is why we love cruising we get to have experiences like this meet local people see some beautiful scenery try great food and try things that we've never done before like tandem bikes and what else did we do and paddle boarding which you know turned out i really enjoyed so <laughs> we are having an amazing time and uh, this is just the best day ever <laughs> it's always so bloody good at whatever he does, it's so annoying. <laughs> Hello there. Priorities. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Bye-bye! This is the one church in this town in... What's it called again? Mahal... Why? Mahal Why? Why? <laughs> Mahal <laughs> And the driver of this bus is the one driver of that one ambulance that they have in this town. So hopefully everyone's feeling A-OK -okay right now. <laughs> wow. I've got to just look at this. Is that someone's house? Thank you so much. This is where people live. We did it through, I guess they're called Jaguar excursions, they're like the external tour group, um, but this was by a celebrity called the Triple Play excursion. So I'll definitely try that out. Yeah, if you are up for a little bit of a challenge, want to do something a little bit more strenuous and, you know, a bit out of the comfort zone. Strengthen that marriage. Strengthen that marriage. Ride a tandem bike and do the Triple Play. Ooh. So this is the port, this is the best port I think I've ever been to. We've got all food and markets. All these tequilas. Well, it's a tequila factory down here. All these boots. Everything tequila. <laughs> are we doing tequila uh, We are tomorrow, I think. She's running. They're like flamingos that are walking in in a line. Oh my god! Oh, really? This one's coming here. Hello there. It's a pool, swim up bar. Yeah, we were just saying, even if you have no excursions here in Costa Maya, there is actually quite a lot to do around the port itself. Ah! <laughs> like oh my goodness. So much to do here. Wow, amazing. It's 
place is amazing. You love it here? There's the bar with the swings. <laughs> you had a good time? I had a wonderful time. Such a cool time. Oh, it's so nice. The weather's been beautiful. It's been amazing. <laughs> That's your favorite word this trip. Amazing. Everything here is amazing. It's so cool. Sunset. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful. This incredible sunset has come to see us off as we get back onto the ship. And you were just saying what? This is one of your favorite ports? Yeah, it's not my favorite. It's like up there with Castaway. Yeah? What, what made it so? Look at just the I think it's a perfect day. The weather was perfect, warm, warm waters, friendly people, good food. Yeah. It was a fun, just a little adventure. It's like we were on an adventure for the last five hours. It was an and adventure. We still have time to go home, take a shower, and then have a different evening. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you don't like cruising, wrong You can't be friends with John here. Yeah, so. No one loves cruising as much as you. <laughs> There's reasons. <laughs> There's reasons. <laughs> if you haven't gone cruising, cruise. <laughs> now, sack off the next Disney sack trip. <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited food and such a good time. Kind of, you know, I like being on the ship. Well, on that note, there she is. Our beautiful silhouette. ship. The celebrity silhouette. So tan. <laughs> You've got some real color. You look great. Color, uh, <laughs> oh, we. And thank you, celebrity. They're providing cold towels to freshen up and fruit water before you get back on the ship. And just like that, we are back in our stateroom, looking a little bit more pink and brown as <laughs> than we were this morning. But what a day! What a day. That was fantastic. Like I said on the way back, highly recommend this trip to anyone that fancies a little bit more of a strenuous, active adventure in the Costa Maya area and know that you will spend more time in Mah... Maha... Wow. Mahawal, Mahawal than in Costa Maya town itself, which is not a bad thing. It seems a little bit more authentic. Well, Costa Maya is the port town, the port, and it's just that area which is called Costa Maya. But the actual town that's w within this uh, the port is Mahawa, mm -hmm. and uh, their like center area is where uh, we were at with the re resorts and stuff like that. Exactly. It was really good. Now, just one piece of advice is to bring bug spray because you do ride through the jungle if you do the excursion that we did. Mm -hmm. We actually fared very well compared to some of our other yeah. excursion goers. Bless their hearts, a couple of the girls actually got bitten on their faces and stuff. So I think oh. we did alright, but yeah, but yeah, I had an amazing day. Amazing. Amazing. And it's not even over yet. No. So we're about to freshen up and get ready for this evening. Mm -hmm. We are going to go to the show, which yes. is Cosmopolitan this evening. Then we have an 8.30 reservation at Le Petit Chef within Cuisine, which is one of the specialty restaurants tonight at 8.30. Mm -hmm. And then after that, there is a deck party. Um, it's actually a full moon party at quarter mm -hmm. past ten this evening. So we've got to wear our finest white and neon yeah. items so we're about to go ahead and freshen up and we'll pick you guys up in a little bit look at this handsome yes <laughs> i am an outfit we peter <laughs> peter <laughs> oh you can't go wrong with a nice shirt no um today was is a what i didn't know uh, is a white t-shirt or white outfit <laughs> thing yeah Apparently, because there's a, it's like a full moon party yeah. outside. Everyone has to wear white. It's the only white shirt good. I have. So. You look handsome. Oh, thank you. You, you ready for cool. the show? Oh, yeah. thank you. you very well. All set. All set. Um, yeah, let's just lock this up and then. Let's get out of here.
All right, we are back. Tonight's show is called Cosmopolitan. And uh, Sue is apparently going to be hosting most of the show. Yeah, it's another um, celebrity cast show. So singing and dancing and that kind of thing. Oh, I can't wait. I love life, so definitely cannot wait. So we just left uh, the pizza. Yeah. What do you think about it? Amazing. They were very talented, the guys and the ladies and the of the show, yeah. acrobats, um, dancers of a lot. Outside of that, it was one of the best shows that we've seen. All right. Yeah, I think it was just kind of like a, I don't know what they were trying to do, but it was trying to add some fashion and some kind of um, different style art into the play, but no, it didn't work well. Um, it wasn't to our liking. No, not to our liking. Um, some of the, but you know, the acrobatics was like my favorite. Amazing, yeah. Amazing, but yeah, you know, you might like it, but yeah. it's just not for us. Yeah, anyway. but we'll continue going to the shows because we love the whole show going. Yep. Situation. <laughs> exactly. And uh, now we are about to go to the cuisine. Yes. For Le Petit Chef. Yes. Ooh, this is going to be an interactive one and I'm going to video the whole thing. I'm excited. As long as I can. I'm excited too. So let's go to cuisine. I'm hungry. Hello, my queen. This is my throne. <laughs> it's a fabulous throne. <laughs> So, Le Petit Chef. Yes, it's a four course set menu. They have all the menu items on the front, but they also have an alternate menu and you can mix and match if you want. So for example, the second course is a five cheese ravioli. John swapped that out for the sea bass on the alternate menu. We've just been told to expect a lot of surprises, whatever that means. And so it's an interactive from what we're saying and then yeah. um there's a show there's a show and we're definitely going to show you but if you do decide to that you wanted to eat here and you don't want the show to be ruined for you click away now click away now <laughs> ladies and gentlemen welcome to the first international tiny chef cooking competition let me present to you the competitors from france our most well-known candidate, Le Petit Chef. This is quite linguine. Bonjour. Bonjour. Out of Spain, a chef who cooks with her heart and soul. Maria, Carmen, Raquel, Ana, Dolores. Hey, give me a second to catch my breath. Monica, Francisca, Jose, de Los Santos, <laughs> better known as Pequena Marina. <laughs> Out of Italy, our heavyweight contender, Piccolo Luciano. <laughs> and then finally, all the way out of the land of the rising sun, Chisana Takahiro. Let the games begin! Wow! Oh. 
tomatoes. Wine has been replenished. We've gone for a couple glasses of Tempranillo for our next couple of courses. <laughs> gonna grind it. Oh, there's a pig. <laughs> oh, where do you get the egg from? making pasta right now. It's making dough. Attention. Oh. You got a pasta grinder. <laughs> that looks so yummy. Yeah, this looks amazing. I would have kept it if I knew it was going to look that good. You can, you can have some of mine. <laughs> My goodness. Where are we? Beyond my steak fritz machine. Steak fritz machine. John's like, you're obsessed with the way the steak is cooked. I'm like, yes, I am, because so very rarely 
do I get a steak cooked that perfectly? Very content. Very content. Now we're having coffee. Yeah. Look what they brought us. They brought us a little... Cute little milk bottle. Milk bottle. And sweetness. Choof. Very cute. So what's been your fave so far? Steaks. Yeah. But they're all so good. I wouldn't rate the others any lower. Yeah, it's dangerous yeah. though because you always go for the most recent as your favorite. I like the cheese ravioli was fantastic. So if you had to, if I had to rate, I would really struggle. Yeah, we're gonna have dessert. Yeah, no I think the portions were perfect for people like us that can put away some food. <laughs> Um, it was a really nice size portion for everything. Oh, we're in Japan! <laughs> Matcha! Mm. There's wasabi! There's wasabi. Oh! It's like us on the paddleboard He's today. Pull the cake out of the flower. <laughs> mm. Oh. 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 Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> Let's eat it. White chocolate, matcha cake, fresh cream, and then there's a layer of berry and lychee, which is really interesting. Like that's just blown my mind that I've got this whole layer of fruit under here. Delicious. Beautiful trophy, mm. 20 from Garrett mm. Golden Chef's Hat. And the winner is Piccolo Luciano. Mm. Hey. My dear, this is so like trippy. Yeah. Trippy. Yes, I got it. <laughs> Very trippy. How was your dinner? That was amazing. Was it amazing? It really was. Like with all sincerity, that was the best meal I've ever had on a cruise. Better. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, what, what, wait, what? wait, wait, wait. What did you just say? Best meal I've ever had on a cruise ship. Better than Paolo. Yeah. Both times. Yeah. Well. If you take the collective, like I love Paolo, well, I love the fillet. That was Paolo. courses of fantabulousness. Yes. Love it. Wow. But look, we knew celebrity was known for their food. Yeah, of course. That's the whole reason why we chose it. We're big celebrity fans. Anyway, next up is up to the deck. To the party. So, after an amazing meal, we are back in the room. We just came back to use the restroom and drop off a couple of things in our stateroom. But then there was a note on our bed following the turndown service that our excursion for tomorrow has been cancelled in Cozumel, which is the second excursion on this like th three like port day trip that has been cancelled, which is unfortunate because we were very much looking forward to the excursion we had booked for Cozumel. I appreciate that things do get cancelled due to lack of participation. Like I totally get that. But it does seem late notice in my mind the fact that we've just come back to our room now and 
we get notified now. Like, Hopefully. I'm not overly impressed by the notice that we get given because we dock at like seven tomorrow morning. So we've literally been left with a, I don't know, I don't even know if the excursion desk is open right now. So now we have to do like last minute or it's like they were doing yeah. at the other place. Yeah, if not, we'll have to do last minute. But I guess it kind of just leaves us in this position while we're scrambling to work out what we want to do tomorrow, which is less than ideal. Like I appreciate them letting us know and we'll figure out something. We'll have fun regardless. It is Cozumel, so there'll be stuff to do in the port, whatever happens. But we're just going to spend some time now looking through our little booklet and deciding, I guess, what we want to do tomorrow. Never saw her face. Oh, I'm a believer. Lisa's sister, <laughs> the modern. That's Mona Lisa's um, great 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 grandchild. Are you sleepy? <laughs> yeah. You remember where we went? We did some party, right? We did the the moonlight party, the dancing in the moonlight. Everybody, and then we went to the casino. Mhm. Mm and then we lost my phone. It's found your phone. Oh, we found it. I guess we will cut this off now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video yesterday, it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. Such a good time. Kosamaya. It was such a fun time. It was. Um, it's a fun day. Let's hope we can replicate um, today we'll probably find another adventure until next week thank you for watching if you enjoyed our videos and please give us a subscribe a like and um we'll see you next week see you soon guys bye, bye.